What's up guys? Marcus here. Mara Hopewell. And we are back for The Boys Season 3, Episode 3. So last time, Huey discovered that Victoria Newman is actually Stan Edgar's adoptive daughter mm. from the adoption company Red River. Mother's Milk, who's been kind of losing his mind about the whole Soldier Boy thing, has decided to rejoin the boys after being inspired by Monique. Butcher got his own inspiration when Huey revealed who Victoria Newman actually is, so he took some Compound V, beat up Gunpowder, before Gunpowder revealed, hey, before you kill me, uh, you might want to ask your boss, Grace Mallory, a few questions. Kimiko and Frenchie encountered Crimson Countess who blew up a Homelander mascot while they were trying to track her down. Has a great song about how chimps don't cry. A-Train is pretending to rediscover his black roots and has put on a gaudy new outfit and plans to do video games about the slave trade. Um, I don't know what you guys think about that. And on Homelander's birthday, he discovered that Stormfront had died. Um, he tried to bully Starlight, but Stan Edgar said no. So on the televised premiere, he goes with a Donald Trump-esque rant saying, You are not the real heroes. I am. You need me. I am... I'm better. That's where we are. I'm excited to see what happens. Um, as of this recording, I'm sure you guys know, the first three episodes came out. Just like in season two. So we'll have seen pretty much the premiere of the first three episodes. So... That'll be nice. So, uh, let's get started. Little Miss Hero Badger. This is very tellers and tiaras. What does it have to do with superheroes again? Oh. Right on cue. Oh, poor thing. Oh, poor little thing. Hold it in. I'm not apologizing. I am Homelander! <laughs> Don't look down, Ashley. I think this was a good episode. I'm just look down. That's got nothing to do with you. Yep. Has nothing to do with you. Yeah, he's getting off himself. He's a narcissist. You and Starlight as a team, together you have a Q rating of 98%. No one's ever been that high. Not Soldier Boy. Soldier boy, huh? It might be important to the story or something. I don't know. He murdered someone. He's murdered. You know he's murdered since before, right? This time he did it with powers, which is. Was... One of them to be a good guy for once. You're watching the wrong show, lady. <laughs> well, he's back at it. This. He's really back, and now he's happy. He's becoming himself again. Oh, even he was back in his old colors too. I do miss suit Huey, but... The boys but... are back! In his fancy pants, lording over his side, <laughs> he wore nothing but a suit spook thing. That, my son, is a lifetime achievement at the Cup of the Year Awards. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. It is a lifetime achievement. should hand him the award. There should be awards now. We had a congresswoman and I split in pretty little butts. Yeah, fun, that. Can you please... break my arm? That's intense. Wearing the bold and the bad shit. <laughs> the bold and the bad shit. He, yeah. loves, he loves this. One. Two. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. He oh. asked for it. Is he chasing a rekindled passion with Starlight? You do know that I have a boyfriend, right? No, you do know ratings, right? That's part of it. And she has the highest rescue stats of any of the finalists, and she's a UNICEF. She's the most qualified. But she's, uh, um, 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 Oh, it's, uh, Sherry. Go back to work for Lumina. Oh, she lost some drugs? But I kind of have a sort of kind of lady. No, that's like his little sister. Uh, what? What's going on? So why did you come back? I beat up a smoke alarm. 
Oh yeah, that too. I didn't even mention that. Oh, yeah, so everybody kill his family. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a bombshell to throw at him. The world's greatest superhero is evil. He won't. I'll just say it's like playing Russian roulette. Uh -huh. If I ever run again, maybe nothing. Or maybe my heart. You can come back to the crib with me. Who? Is it? Is it? Brothers unite. I just said you have powers. Aww. Do you ever get scared of them? I'm sure you didn't mean it. Uh. I actually kind of did. Nicaragua's ancient history. Not to mention I could be killed just for telling you. They know you were ancient, so get killed if you don't. What a pickle. What a pickle. Reagan's pet project off the books. Reagan. The Contra rebels fight the Russian backed Sandinistas. But we didn't always pay for it. Oliver North's epic fucker. But the rest? Oh, that's a young uh, Mallory? Yeah. I was in charge of trafficking the coke into the U.S. What? The CIA sold cocaine? You bought another thing to what other thing? She knows. The unwritten policy was to sell the cocaine strictly to minority neighborhoods. Aww. So the higher ups in their infinite wisdom decided it was the perfect time to throw a wrench in the works. Rock you like a hurricane. Put it down. You know, a figure like yours, you are wasted down here. Oh, 1984. Um, um, so this is. Ooh, who's he? Wait, is that? Yeah. That's Sam. Yeah. Like, like that, that, that's a very specific way of speaking. I'm going to take a more central role on the team, along with the next. What? Black Noir! That's not the actor who plays him, though. That's the young version. The guy who plays him is the young look. Okay. These are very. Oh! Oh! Wow. Ah, there she is. Not at all. Cape. So, but he just hates it. I am pitching the craziest twist. Turn on the deep. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh, and the wife is hugging. Reminder of the guy who fucking mouth raped me. Oh, that's funny. Oh, do. Well, that's not funny. Oh, that's 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 Popularity is power. Do you believe that? Yeah, he's right. Remember, he let Stormfront in the set, when he knew Stormfront was a Nazi. Flight 37. Oh, Flight 37. He's not gonna let that keep going, though. They should know that. Starlight. Release it. See? Light this candle. Are you sure? Well, it was everything, but then... You'll rebuild. Well, White House. Just wipe New York off the fucking map. I'll even throw in Des Moines. That little cousin fucker hate town that made his brother. I prefer to be loved. Well, being feared is A1 of keep dope by me. Okay, Daenerys. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, that's God. terrible. Well, I guess he ended up liking her. They're getting off on the power, okay? <laughs> Is he gonna survive the V? I'm sure this tent V may not have been a good idea. He's bringing the team back into the set. Let's take it out, man. What? I'm sorry. We're on to something that could kill Homelander. You got it, Max, in time. Keep your eyes on that. How much time? Become the Dark Star again. Mm hmm. Let me tell you, man. I'm happy you're coaching these kids than I ever was working at Vaughn. Oh, he worked at Vaughn? Ooh. Guess that makes sense. That you want to be down with the cause so much. I was terrified. And that's what David Meyer says Blue Hawk came to her rescue. Oh, okay. Uh, another Karen. Alright. Blue Hawk curves on him so hard, he cracked the pigment. Jesus. 
Be the anti OJ Michael Jordan. Listen, I'm Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Yeah. Republicans buy sneakers too. You know, that was always his phrase. <laughs> that was his phrase. Yeah, why he wouldn't get involved in politics. How's your wife? She still enjoy getting her cell tossed by a French man while her husband tosses nothing? Oh boy. Another time. I think that tracksuit guy is. Yeah, probably with him. Why is always tracksuits with Mafia members? The Italian Mafia, Maybe they do Russian a Mafia, yeah. You gotta be comfortable for all that corner activity. Sorry about that. How did you drink last night? Right. Just gonna ignore that question. <laughs> Oddly enough, the temple wasn't... Oh! She killed her own man! Okay, yeah. they're idiots. Are you running away, SWAT? Out? Yeah. Oh, that's why he's running away, because he's dead. Again, why they didn't want them in combat. Uh. Wait, aren't they? Yeah, those, those are their guys. Whoa! So they're more like the Suicide Squad than they are like uh, the Justice League. Well, they oh. all call payback. Yeah, uh, that's why he doesn't speak. Stagger was right! I, I need my mask! That was her origin. I was about to say that. I promised me on my lizard. head. In all this time, I won't give a fucking word. There wouldn't be a word now. Yeah. Go after another suit, another, then all of them. I don't know what you're talking about. Ryan says that to everybody. Don't take it personal. He said it to Becca. He said it to Homelander. That's what he says. That's his thing. He's a kid, you know. Yeah. We always hit our parents. But that's so sad. Where is Yeah, but guess who holds his chain now? Go on, scamper away, little doggy. You know, might be one of the, you know, mini villains this season. You think? Welcome home, brother. Here, here. <sighs> There's your boy. <laughs> Wait, um. Oh, he really loves digging it in. Murdering all of his friends. Uh. Back in the big leagues, buddy. Wait, why am I surprised? Your homeowner's full blown evil. Err. You know who I've been reading up on lately? Dr. Martin Luther King. Of course. He spoke truth to power, just like me. It's crazy. But <laughs> the same. We've both been to the mountaintop. And see the promised land? See yeah. Promise. Didn't homeowner come from Jesus a couple of episodes ago? Fucking love me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, now he's Dr. King. Now he's trying all the hats. Excellent. Oh, the starfish. Starfish. Oh, you I mean, mean the octopus thing? Oh, how'd you know? Oh. I'm just guessing, just like to really dig it in. Oh, holy shit, it's Timothy. Oh my god. Oh. Timothy is fucking delicious. This is so heartbreaking. And he also goes both ways. Now I know that. He was oh, oh, only with the animals, it seems like. Oh. <laughs> Do it. Um, 
You do know the Deep's a rapist, right? And a moron. If that helps. No, I, I'm sad for Timothy. Oh. Like, he's being murdered. And of course he's supposed to not like Deep even more because he's gonna murder his friend. He has no choice. He wants he's to stay in the seven. He's torture him to death. Dr. King just told you to eat an octopus. He doesn't even kill a fast. He's like, oh my gosh. He's not killing him though, it's like he's holding him. No, he's chewing. Oh, he's chewing? Yeah. Miss X-ray vision over here. What is she, what's wrong with her? Oh yeah, Butcher was kind of uh, being a yeah. Dr. Ryan. Oh yeah. You work for him too? Aww. She holds my leash or whatever. Yep, I told you. Yeah. He's gonna use Lillian to get to Russia so we can find the weapon that killed Soldier Boy. Yep. I told him I was thrilled to join the team. I was in rehab. Manager bailed on me, fought to everyone. Wow. But she didn't leave. Oh, wow. He loves her. I'm gonna put in monster for what it does to the kid. No! My canary gave me the okay. Anything that I've learned. <laughs> <laughs> Of Ready? course. Kill the thanks for killing the moment, you dick. Of course. The newest member of the seven is Super Sonic. <laughs> Final new member of the seven is <sighs> the Duke. The Duke. <laughs> oh it's not like you insisted on it, but you keep your distance, wow. pal, because. Uh, She's my girl now. What? Oh! <laughs> 98%. 98%. Oh. She's trying so hard. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop it. 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 No. <laughs> oh. oh, the fat, oh. yeah, doing that. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So Homelander is unleashed. He's <sighs> been emboldened by um, his audience. Um, 98%. He told Starlight, I'm no longer season two Homelander. This is season three hotness. So yeah, release the tape. Tell Queen Maeve who hasn't been in two episodes. Tell her that it won't affect me anymore. Ooh, Go ahead. They might be saving something really good for Maeve if they've been holding back. So hashtag home light. It was a smart move from home light to do so. How do you do that? Like home light? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't know how you do it. I'm sure we'll see it throughout this season. Yeah. Well, this keeps Starlight into the main part, focus of the story. Like, mm -hmm. okay, I gotta be public boyfriend. Smart for Homelander. People like to ship people. That is true. Mm -hmm. And after you said you guys together, ninety eight percent. What if? What if we weren't together, but together? Ooh. And Homelander, Homelander's weird defense thing. I'm not saying it's good. Does kind of keeps the deep off their back a little bit. Yeah. I mean, the deep's married now, and but you know, Homelander to get pull. Hey. She's my girl now, so go. for public appearances, it yeah, sounds yeah, better. Yeah, I suppose yeah, the, the Starlight taking them and yeah. Yeah. Besides Milk, Homelander gets off on one other thing. Himself. Saying the word, what was it? What was the phrase you kept rewinding over and over and over? Uh, I have something about strength or something like. like persecuted for my strength. Persecuted for my his strength. strength. Persecuted for my strength. Persecuted. Yeah, yeah, um, so, good for Homelander, um... Good for Homelander? Hey, hey, he, we, we all have a little self-esteem. We need to get our, get our strength from somewhere. I think that's how it is sometimes, though, like, the worst, um, is that the facade they put on for the world is strength, but really, people who are going off and doing crazy-ass shit, hurting the world, they're just really insecure little babies that never really had love. What do you think? I don't know. Um, I, I, I'm, an, I'm an insecure little baby. Um, but it wouldn't be Homelander without being vindictive. 
He needlessly tortured Starlight. Well, for the co-captain thing. And he tortures everyone. He even said, it was Starlight's idea for you to be a part of the Seven, not mine. Needlessly tortured the Deep, who has an ugly portrait of them together in his room, but, uh... All those poor, like, animals, poor Timothy. Guess what, we'll go to the Deep. Uh, the We're Deep going is... going deep. The Deep is back in the Seven. He's been off the Seven for two seasons now, so yeah. it kind of made sense to bring him back. Um, the show, they've done this before with the Deep. You can feel bad enough for him. Because I know you feel bad for Timothy more, but we're seeing Timothy through the Deep's eyes. Yeah, but I, I, I don't feel bad for the Deep at all. I mean, like, he murdered his friend. Like, it just shows, just so he can get back on a, like, on a team or whatever for his career. The wife seems to be kind of the, um, the power behind the Deep. Mm-hmm. She pulled that whole, I hope we can be sisters again to Starlight. Um, she's... Giving him confidence, you know. Yeah, and then she, plotting against know, Starlight at the same beat time. Beat that starfish. I mean, yeah. Yeah. A train, who's doing his best Friday impression, back on the stoop, kids. Um, we now know that it's Russian roulette with his heart. Mm -hmm. If he runs, he could die. Yeah. Um, but they did address, which I'm sure the world already knows. You know, it turns out, uh, um, black men get killed for no reason. Clear. This is a uh, um. Uh, a reference to, you know, the police and mm -hmm. you know, unarmed black men. The boys continue on their train from season two, so yeah. this was... A-Train's brother was like, you you really want to do something? This is your chance to really do something that matters. Yeah. So and I it, think he's actually in a better place than the deep, to tell you the truth. Uh, he if did. he wants the opportunity. A-Train is a sports athlete. Sports athletes pre-2010? Big sports athletes. They didn't get involved in the politics. Um, Ty Tiger Woods didn't. Um, O.J. Simpson didn't. Yeah, I know he's the murderer man, but guys, we're talking 1970s where he was like the biggest star ever. Mar Michael Jordan, we saw him in the last dance, said, ah, Republicans buy sneakers too. I'm not gonna say anything, you know. It's more about selling to be as marketable as possible. I mean, you don't, you don't want to rub anyone the wrong way, because, you know, A-Train flakes, they may not buy them. Mm -hmm. We saw, I mean, to get a little meta, a lot of them, um, there's rumors that a lot of them um, right-wingers don't like Homelander anymore because they discovered that Homelander is a satire on right-wing agendas, extreme right-wing agendas. I'll, I'll make that clear. <laughs> like, um, not just people who just like less taxes, like extreme right-wing agendas. Um, and A-Train doesn't want to do that. You know, it's hard of being a black man in the seven, but now I gotta, you know, speak up? What, what if my stock goes down? We saw with Homelander, his stock went down in the urban areas. Another reason why he's hitching to, to Starlight. You know, you gotta get them, them girl power uh, prices up. No, yeah, so um, we're, so a -Train, we now see A-Train's goal is to, to be a good man or a good superhero. I'm just saying, like, he has, like, he's in a better position because he can completely reinvent whatever he wants to do with his life, and he's not under the pressure of Homelander. Yeah. Well, Homelander's not calling him fat anymore, so, uh... <laughs> guess this I, episode. Yeah, this episode. That last yeah, episode. Yeah, because he is still in the seven, so, um... Yeah. yeah, so we'll see what happens to him. I think I know how this will go. Um, it's the boys. It's never the good guys win. So, uh, pretty sure any trans gonna fall, either fall back or bungle it up. You know, yeah. but we'll see with them. A train will always be A train. Yeah, um, we but we saw how N Black Noir became Black Noir. Yes, we did. We saw him with the very young um, Stan Edgar. Mm -hmm. Is it because that's not the actor who plays Black Noir? So um, that was supposed to be his younger self. Yeah, the guy who plays Black Noir is a young guy. No, he's not. He's in his like thirties or forties or something. No, he's not. He's a young looking guy. You know, show your picture him. Yeah, Nathan Kemp. Yeah, he's older. I never saw him as a kid. I'd say he was a child, but even though... Well, I mean, he's not, like, in his 20s. He's, like, a pass for 29. The guy who played young Stan did a good job. I, who's, what's that actor's name? Yeah. The guy looks young, and I don't look like he's an old he man. He definitely looks around my age. He's, like, older. He is not older. 
He, he's he, definitely. He looks, let's find his He looks age. born in 92. It turns out Payback was pretty much James Gunn's Suicide Squad. Yeah. Not really good at their job. And yeah. so, uh, now he always wears the mask. Because it's funny because he didn't want to wear one in 1984 America. <laughs> but, I was uh, like, this thing will save my life. And now, and now we know why he can't speak. Still has a peanut allergy, which they made a reference to when Edgar was eating uh, yes. peanuts. Um, no so, baby root for him. So uh, Stan Edgar, we get a young Stan Edgar. Um, yeah, who played him? I don't know, some guy. But, some guy did a great But he job. really captured all the Giancarlo Esposito inflections. I mean, if you've yeah. been watching Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, The Mandalorian, and The Boys, there's a very distinct way John Carlo does his villainy, very proper and cold, with certain pauses and when he says things. And so, when that guy was doing like pretty much, you know, word for word, really good stuff. Really great. Stuff. You can tell before he even said his name. Wait, that odd way of speaking is that? That's Dan. Sure enough, it was. So um, we now know what happened in Payback. Um, I love how. Dumb and idiotic they all are. Um, Soldier Boy's just guest on, just a meathead jock. Um, he thought he was charming. But it also just shows just the sex, the rampant sexism in 1984. He was saying the, I mean, we still get it now, saying that, hey, you should smile more. Oh, you don't like me, then you must be gay. I mean, you hear stuff like that well, now. Well, it really does work when you speak less, smile more, and get your man on the dance floor. Are you trying to quote Hamilton? So Butcher is feeling the effects of Temp V. Um, turns out it's a nasty hangover, man. Um, it was experimental. There were gonna be side effects, mm -hmm. obviously. You know, I mean, power comes at a cost, right? Yeah. So Huey has become Butcher, you know. He was clearly the Victoria Newman thing shook him to his core. That'll be like BJ, Butcher Jr. Sure, it's the boys, it's grass, why not? Um, which is what made Starlight do what she did mm -hmm. um, at the end. Like, I gotta commit, you know, and she kissed, you know, Homelander. That was she her sure thing. She did, yes. and he gets to watch it later. Yeah, so, I mean, Huey's, which I think is gonna cause major problems for Butch later. Yeah. Feeding the Beast. Yes. You're right, you're right, Butcher, whatever you wanna do, I'm down for it. Let's get it what, done. What my conscience said it's okay. Um, he had to be mean to Ryan, which, of course, uh, but, but I have a thing. Um, you're like, Mallory, screw you. How dare you get on the high horse, you know? What? You're just like your father. Really? Well, you didn't tell Mother's Milk that you knew about um, Soldier Boy, where he was. Yeah, he should have known about that. You knew there was a weapon that could kill Homelander. But it might not have worked. How do you know? Well, maybe there's more to it and we're going to discover, like, why she really buried that story. Yeah, well, Vlock got full immunity. Oh, and she was also, you know, putting cocaine in all, in all the urban houses. You know, uh, yeah. yeah, thanks racism. Well, she stopped. Like, that was the mission where she's like, screw all of this. All I'm saying is, she's no better than he is. That's all I'm saying. That's the boys. Like, everyone has their thing. Yeah, um... Even Dark Starlight. Even Dark Light. But yeah, with Starlight, has been forced in position. Because, like you, it was. We tried it the right way. We failed. We got... Sometimes you gotta make out with Anthony Starr in order to, um... In order to stay alive. I <laughs> the mean... horrible things you have uh, to do I mean, to save the world. I mean, it's the only way to, to win sometimes, uh, right? Buzzmoke is back with the boys. They, yeah. they fell right back into the same dynamic. Okay. Um... Uh, Overly cleaning, overly judgy, but there's... He was just so happy being himself again. That's true. Yeah, not around a Todd. That probably helps, too. Mm -hmm. Todd who loves uh, Homelander's I, I don't get the Todds. I don't get, like, Monique with Todd. Like, I don't know what led her to him. Oh, that's easy. Um, when a breakup happens, if it's a really bad breakup, you try to date someone who's the complete opposite. opposite. And that guy is the complete opposite. I would say so, but then you have to, like, do things with that person, and I'm like, oh. I, how do you think the deep gets through it? You just look at Timothy. Let's talk about Frenchie. This was a big Frenchie episode. You kind of took a backseat the last two. Yeah. Um, which is funny because the thing that Lena says is why he took a backseat. 
You're just you're just a slave to someone, and um, and he likes it. Yeah, I'm um, Sherry's probably. We found she kind of set him up a little bit. She actually stole the cocaine and took off. Yeah. Like wow, Sherry really. The heroin. Yep, so the heroin. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but I yeah, you, um, I so we're picking up from with Frenchie what we did in season one. He he says mm -hmm. this to Kimiko. Butchers uses me as a weapon. My dad uh, was abusive, and then we kind of yeah. went somewhere else with them in season two. We, it was more about the lamplight or redemption thing with them. Yeah. So now we're that picking was a up. Good story. It was. Now we're picking back up the season one. And he's arc. back to the same old Frenchie. Yeah, it was like not well. Yeah, it was more like okay, yeah, my hit pass because he remember he has yeah. fake names and IDs and like. Gun for hire does everything. Yeah. So now we're going back into more his thing. Why being a simp for a simp for Kimiko is better. Um, mm -hmm. They're keeping their relationship relationship completely ambiguous, which I still like. Um, yeah, I'm. I agree with you. I don't think it's romantic. Um, I've never thought it was romantic. That was yeah. more of a fandom thing. Remember when he kissed her in season two? I'm like, ah, that seemed kind of yeah. kind of weird. Um, it was like a brother kissing a sister. It was just. Mm. Yeah, but, Didn't work. yeah, but we'll see. But you know, there's all. I mean, in 2022, there's there's weird spectrums now with yeah, relationships and friendships 2022, now. 2022, all the, the spectrums. Yeah, like in terms of like romances and love and stuff. So we we'll, we're definitely gonna be exploring that this season, at least it's from. It's gonna be a big season. This is how it's getting started. Yeah, at least from, from Frenchie's point of view with Kim Go Yeah. Yeah. So Starlight is building her own allies. Yeah, she is. So um. What a bombshell to tell your ex-boyfriend. Hey, no, I bet she's gonna have those other two girls on the side. Oh, you think, uh... Yeah, I don't I, care that. I, I, she wanted them. I don't think she's really holding them. Like, I think she is, like... Um, she has to plot, but she has to do it, like, very carefully. So, she's building her own team, but she's doing it to where Howlander can't see. And girls do get it done. Jerk of the episode. Jerk of the episode. It's kind of obvious. Uh, I have no idea. I, know, I thought Timothy was really mean watching the deep and uh, his wife hook up. He couldn't go anywhere and uh, it looked like it was a mutual kind of consensual kind of activity. Obviously, the jerkly episode is once again my boy, the Homelander. Between not putting pants on when Ashley walks in to bringing Starlight's rapist back onto the seven <sighs> to making the deep eat one of his friends to publicly uh, tell the world, hey, by the way, Star and I, we're, to, we're together. That, that, that was Starlight who did that, actually. That wasn't... So. She was pretty awesome. Yeah, so now, um, Homelander, I think this is going to be a season again. I'm not mad at all. One of my favorite characters. Is my favorite character on the show. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll make a small caveat. I think a close second has to be Butcher. They seem to be neck and neck on who can be more douchey this, that is true. this uh, season. Oh. Butcher was trying, but alas, he did not. No, no. So once again, Homelander runs with it. Um, we might. I mean, he's been, what, he was during the episode last episode, too. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, he was. Well, last week he was kind of tied with Butcher, but this one it was a clear yeah. winner. If it becomes, if he's the jerk episode every episode, we have to start doing a top three thing just to... Change it up. Yeah, uh, I, I agree. We're, we're, I think we're probably going to have to do that. I think this is... Oh, but Soldier Boy is back. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh, we're going to Russia next week. I mean, next episode. The Who knows when I make these videos. Uh, yeah, that's true. So maybe uh, he might give Homeland a run for his money, like Stormfront did back in the day. R.I.P. Thoughts and prayers. Oh, uh, so what did you guys say this episode? Uh, who's your jerk of the episode? I keep forgetting to ask that. And, um, are you a fan of hashtag home light or hashtag deepeth, hashtag deepethy? I got a new ship. Deep and Timothy. Yeah. Let us know in the comments. Aww. So, till next time, stay frosty. Keep it awesome.